What's up guys, Shane here from Fugodeck 3D Printing. And today, we're reviewing some filament. Today, we're gonna be reviewing some Hatchbox filament. This one's already open, so let's take a look at a box that isn't opened yet. So this is Hatchbox ABS filament. The boxes are all the same that you get from them. On the side, it's great. Real big, it tells you it's ABS or PLA. It gives you a color sticker, which totally doesn't match the color of the filament. At least it didn't in the orange or pink. Uh, I don't know why, but didn't match at all. But it tells you, gives you stats about it here. You know, very simple, but nice. It's a good firm box. You know, uh, I buy it from Amazon, so Amazon shoves a lot of stuff in one box. So when we open it up, we can see here, it's vacuum sealed in the bag. It's not the tightest vacuum. I don't know how some of the other filaments are. Well, I know some are. Some are really loose, some are really tight, but you know, this one, it's got a little bit of space in it. It doesn't really matter. It is enclosed. Right in the middle, they put the silica packet. And as you can see, this is orange. And on here, I mean, let's, let's put this here. You guys can compare here. There's the sticker, and there's the color of the filament. Definitely don't match. They definitely don't match. So, on the spool, actually the sticker on here is the color of the filament, which is nice. It gives you all the stats here for recommended settings to printing it at. It tells you it's 1.75 or three millimeter, whatever you're printing at, it's a kilogram. Recommended temperatures. And they have some places here where you can connect with them, Instagram, Facebook, what, Twitter, and YouTube, which is great. So today, we're gonna to be looking at Hatchbox PLA filament. Currently have here some orange PLA. It's a fantastic color. This is an all around, everyday PLA. Anyone can print with this. It prints like butter on any machine. I have both a G-Tech Persa i3 and a Folger Tech FT5, and on both of those machines, it just comes out with amazing results. One of my most recent prints was a Snakey's, which came out great. It's huge, you know, almost the length of my arm. This is 200% with the original model. Everything works out. I did have to print it with some support just because the links are so big. It just, it failed horribly the first time I did it. And even here, just a little bit, not stringing, but just the, I don't have a cooling fan on the FT5 yet, so some of the underlaying layers, as it prints them, that, out, that outward most layer, kind of falls off a little bit before it hits the support. But everything other than that, the layers here are great. This is at a 0.2 millimeter height. I should have added one more top layer. You can see through just a little bit at the very top of each one of these links. So I should have added one more, this is with two perimeters, three bottom, three top layers. The bottom layers on the glass come out perfect on both of my machines. The top, sometimes you have to play with just a little bit. Having a cooling fan is important, but it's not necessary. Again, this was printed without a cooling fan, and if you can kind of can see in here, the circles are just perfect. Whoa, where are we on here? Inside there, there is no real stringing whatsoever inside. And I can't ask for any better results than that. Again, the bottom layers did have a little bit of issue down here, but aside from that, it printed great. I also went ahead and printed out, using the pink as well, a giant cookie cutter. So for comparison to my hand, this measures right around, I think, nine inches. It was max build plate on my G-Tech here. It just barely fit in there. I had to adjust the binder clips a little bit too just so it could get by. But this came out great as well. This is 0.2 layer height as well. And no real ridging. The Z-banding is gone on my printer, but that's, I guess, the printer. That's not the filament. This came out great. I have here some orange. So this is probably the most popular color I use purely because I like the color and I've always had success with it. 
it came out a little bit of banding here on the cylinder as it printed up, but that's not too bad. This is actually a headphone holder I'm gonna be mounting here to my desk to hold my headphones when I do some of the on-screen work. Again here, even with the cooling fan a little bit here, it didn't quite print properly. This is zero support as it printed like this. So these overhangs here, just a little bit, didn't quite melt properly and adhere to the other layers, but I pulled off maybe two strings. One's a little bit loose here, but that's it for that. I have a 200 millimeter GoPro extension and this was also 0.2 layer height. Normally point to 0.2 layer height. Sometimes I print at 0.1, but it's pretty rare because there's no real reason. I don't need anything with that fine of details. I don't do modeling. I print mostly functional products to be funny. I mean, I guess not to be funny, but a lot of people, they print very random things. I print a lot of functional items and this one is actually 100% infill. So it's super, it doesn't bend at all. Push that a little bit bends in there, but I mean even here I push these That doesn't bend Which is great these two bend a little bit. They're a little bit thinner, but these big thick ones here don't bend at all great Great structure in this and again, that's the filament. It's Yeah, you print anything 100% should be pretty strong. This definitely is strong and You really can't see any of the layers here. You can feel a little bit, but again for a $300 printer, printing stuff like this, it's great. Lastly, I have a cooling fan here. This one was nice just because the bottom I printed at 20% infill, which with three top, three bottom, solid layers. And that's, I mean, it's only, you know, 30 layers there, if that. But the rest of this was printed with one shell because it's so thin and it turned out perfect in a lot of it. I can't really get to the focus on this too well. Let's try here. There we go. So, I mean, very smooth surfaces. No deforming whatsoever. I do have a cooling fan, again, on my G-Tech, but just looking at the sides, it's all perfect sides there and that is great filament. I've been using Hatchbox for probably about six months now and everything I've printed has come out great. I don't use any type of, you know, substance I'll say to adhere it to the glass. I use a 60 degrees Celsius heated bed on top of plain glass. I don't use alcohol wipes on it or anything. I just try not to touch it. Uh, some people would try and clean it off. Some people use glue, hairspray, blue painter's tape. None of that is necessary with this filament. And even on the Forger Tech, the Folger Tech FT5, again, straight glass on the heated bed, nothing added, prints every time. I do use a 150% first layer for first layer height. And I do that so that a nice thick layer is laid down on the glass it really put the nozzle really pushes it down on the glass and when it cools it's rock solid also that's how you get really nice full shiny uh bottom layers and you can see i can't really zoom into it because i'm not that great at the camera but if you tilt it back and forth and you look at it it shines you can see that there's no you can see each of the tracks go by i mean it's first layer porn every time as long as you have your printer dialed in, it's great stuff. Super strong. Doesn't get brittle. Again, I'm using it six months now. All of my filament is, I shouldn't say all of it, half of it is in a container, which is down there. Uh, it's a, one of the watertight containers. Throw a whole handful of silica packs in there and it's great. A lot of my other filament sits out. You know, right now there's a Folger Tech yellow on the GTech printer, which I'll be reviewing in the future. I'm um, using it to print a couple of things just around the house. It's not the best filament, but that's for a different thing. So all in all, if you guys are looking for some cheap, not necessarily cheap, but great price, great quality filament, 
go ahead and hit up Hashbox. And I will say, Hashbox is not paying for me to do this, this review. I am doing this completely on my own because this filament is fantastic. I have about seven, eight colors in it right now. I'm looking to get some more. Hatchbox, that's where you guys come in, send me some. But it's great filament. I highly recommend it to everyone. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Like, subscribe to my videos, subscribe to my channel. Let you know when content comes out, helps me out. I'm doing this just for fun, it's something to do at night. So I really appreciate your support. So until next time, happy printing.